Hey guys, Luke here and welcome to the League Report. Now we're going to jump straight into the biggest story of the episode and it's Kalen Ponga signing a five-year deal with the Newcastle Knights. The news broke Wednesday night that the 18-year-old had signed with the Knights and Chris Gary of 7 News Queensland broke the news that the Cowboys coach Paul Green had confirmed the signing the next morning. I've seen a few figures tossed up and it seems the money he'll be on is somewhere between 600 to 750k a year. It's crazy money for a kid who's only played two games in the NRL but it just might be the risk that the Knights have to take. Hopefully chasing the money works out for Ponga long term. More bad news for Cowboys fans. Ben Hennett has announced his retirement due to a chronic knee injury. Hennett retires with 245 NRL games over five clubs, 12 origin appearances for Queensland, six tests for Australia, and two premiership rings. The first in 2006 with the Broncos, the second with the Cowboys in 2015. He also won Prop of the Year in 2009 with the Bulldogs. In my opinion, I think Hennett was a great signing for the Cowboys a few years ago, and I think he just added an extra bit of experience that they needed off the bench. I mean, when you have players like Tummer and Scott, that's great and all, but when they go off, you need someone to come on and continue things rolling in the forwards, and I think Hennett did a brilliant job at doing that. Although, with Tummer leaving, I expected Hennett to take over from where Tummer left off, although that's not going to happen. Uh, injuries suck, man. I really like um, Ben Hennett, and it just sucks that he has to retire due to injury. Speaking of Queensland representatives, Corey Oates and Justin Hodges, they went out and drinking with Jack Reed, and they ended up getting into a bit of a blue. Oates must have been playing up a little bit and Hodges reportedly told Oates he would, quote, put one on his chin if he didn't stop carrying on. A witness has confirmed that this did actually happen, but it all sort of got broken up before anything major could happen, so no punches were thrown as far as I know. Now on to some re-signing news. Clinton Gutherson has re-signed with the Parramatta Eels until the end of 2019. Gutherson started the season on the wing, but played throughout all positions of the Eels' backline at different points in the season, even 5'8", where he was surprisingly good. It's good to see Gutherson bounce back after some pretty severe injuries to his knee, I think it was. Uh, I'm just glad to see that he's uh, able to stay on the field and doing a pretty good job on the field as well. It'll be interesting to see if he ends up playing 5'8 this season or not, or will he go to fullback, or will he play in the Sanders wing? Where will he play? Another re-signing. This time it's Kurt Baptiste in the Canberra Raiders. He's re-signed until the end of 2018. Last season was probably Baptiste's best year in the NRL as he played 24 games and had a good rotation with Josh Hodgson in the hooker position. In my opinion, this is a great move for the Raiders. Our final re-signing news for the episode, it's Wong and Blake. He has re-signed with the Penrith Panthers until the end of 2019. With injuries to Peter Hiku and Dean Vare this last season, Blake had a lot of opportunities for a centre spot and he took them with both hands. I wonder where they're actually going to play this season, the three of them. I mean, this three goes into two obviously doesn't work out. One of them will have to play in the wing or one of them won't play at all. I wonder if it's going to be wrong or Blake. Now on to the last story of the episode. Now this one's a bit of a weird one. Probably one of the weirdest things I've seen in quite a while in the rugby league world. And that is the Australian New Zealand Four Nations Finals actually going to be played on a 93 metre field. The Four Nations Finals being held at Anfield, the home of soccer team Liverpool. The reason for the shortened field is to make the in goals bigger to prevent something like this from happening. Barley at Hayne and support, that one's offloaded. What a play. Then Morris over the top. Then Hayne. Oh, touch and kick. It's still up for Australia. They'll score. Morris has scored for the Kangaroos. And then speed. Oh, ho, ho. Ouch. Anyway, guys, that is all we have time for. Hopefully, you did enjoy the episode. If you did, make sure you go ahead and leave a like. Subscribe to the channel if you're new around here as well. If you want to follow me on Twitter and Instagram, it's MrLukeMIT. That's my handle. My Facebook page is in the description below. And make sure you leave in the comments section below. Kalen Ponga, him moving to the Knights, is that a good or bad move for his career? In my opinion, I don't think it is. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.